Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the DXZTOZ brand, their part number NTS500B. It's a 50 foot dual lens industrial endoscope with a five inch large IPS screen. IPS means that you could view it at any angle. It's a more expensive screen. It's brighter and it's clearer. This could be used to look at sewer pipes, uh, to inspect your kitchen sink. If you drop some jewelry in your sink, this is perfect to view it and to grab it with the included hook. This piece here and this whole snake is IP68 waterproof. This is not IP68, so you gotta make sure you don't dunk that in water, but this is. And there is seven LEDs here. There's two cameras on this. And what's really unique about this thing, the, the first thing I noticed, I own four different endoscopes. This is the first one I've ever seen that has an incredible depth of field. And you'll see, I'll demonstrate. It'll be focused where my finger is and also all the way in my studio ceiling practically. So it has a really wide depth of field of 16 inches, which is really unusual. So if you're looking at a 16 inch pipe, uh, which most pipes are less, you're gonna be able to see from the entry all the way down. There's an easy way to switch between the two camera angles during recording that you can record uh, either forward or on the side. This probe is only eight millimeter diameter and with the hook it's only nine millimeters. So you can really fit it into really tiny spots. There's a built-in microphone on the bottom of this by the SD card. It'll pick up your voice so you can narrate what you're doing. So for a customer or client or for yourself, you can say things like, I'm not looking at the pipe, I'm looking at the sink and I see the jewelry or whatever, you can narrate that. These cameras here, they're both 1080p resolution, which is really good. They're all glass lenses inside here, which is really unique. And then you're gonna see how good the image is and it gives better color performance and greater clarity on this larger screen. So this whole unit is more durable and the cable is more durable so that you don't have to worry about it getting damaged when you're going through things like um, ductwork, because this is excellent for looking at ductwork. Ductwork always has those screws and they're very sharp, so this is gonna be more durable so that you don't have to worry about it. Internally inside here, there's 3,500 milliamp hour battery and it's a really large size and it'll allow working time up to five hours. This unit also has an included 32 gigabyte memory card. We're gonna show that it's already installed and you could read whatever you record your pictures or video right to your computer with the included data and charging cable, which is really nice. And it's a type C so that you can put it in either direction. This is all plug and play. There's no need to use a smartphone to connect. You don't have to mess around with your phone and risk getting it dirty on the job site. You just bring this and you have the image right there and the ability to record video, pictures, and voice along with that video. It also has a neat flashlight we're gonna show that's built in over here that allows you to illuminate what you're seeing, not necessarily from this view, but the view from here, and that's kind of nice. It's a very nice display. I love the color they chose there with that uh, that uh, yellow green color. So very simple. This is the power button right here. You just hold this down and the unit will come on. It gives you the title right there. And it tells you there's no camera. I just wanted to show you how simple it is. Then you hold it again to turn it off. If you turn it back on and you hit this button right here, this really neat LED comes on and it's nice and bright. It's all sealed and smooth right there. That's really nice. Now on, on the bottom here, there is a rubber seal and there's the USB-C, that's a data port and a charging port. And there's the 32 gigabyte micro SD card already installed. We turn this over, that's where your, your uh, snake goes. It only plugs in one way and the switch is gonna go up. That switch that goes between the two different cameras. And on the back of the unit, it has a speaker. There's a built-in microphone somewhere in this area right here. And then this is right here where you can put the included, you can screw this in and then you could keep this thing on an angle like that while you're working. 
Very nice. Now to charge this unit, you open this up and we're going to use the included cable that it came with. And as I mentioned, it's a USB Type-C. Just plug this into at least a one amp USB port, which I just did. And this cable is about three and a half feet long, which is nice. Now we're going to take this and we're going to plug it into the port right on the bottom here like that. Now what you'll see is there is a blinking red LED right there and when this is fully charged that will go solid red and that tells you that this is fully charged. Now to connect the snake up is really easy. You have the camera side then you have the side that has the data port and you'll see there's a little switch right there. That switch goes on the top facing the LCD display and you push that in all the way like that. Now if you want to lock this in place, there is a little screw port right there and they do have an included hex head and two screws so that you can lock this in place so it can't be removed easily. And then if you want to remove this, you just undo that screw if you want. It's very simple. And that's it in terms of operation. So first thing you notice, you start seeing my studio lighting right here. And that's pretty amazing because that's a couple feet away. You can see I put my finger right there and it's very in focus on my finger, yet it's getting the studio lights also. Now you notice there's a light on there, LEDs, and there is a brightness control right here. You could dim it down just like that or turn it off. Up to you how much light you want to have depending on the condition. Sometimes what you're looking at is very bright already and you want to have no light at all. But you can control it down and dim it what you need just like that. Then you have that light over here, as I already showed, with that button right there. You have a start-stop button there, and on the upper left there is a mode. So you see it's in the picture mode. So I hit that button right there, and it makes a snapping sound, and then it took a picture. Now if I hit the mode button, now you see there's a little video symbol right there. So I hit that button again. And there's a little timer on the bottom left, and it's now recording video. And you can see my studio here and some of the setup, and it's recording it right now. And I can narrate. This is a test, testing one, two, three, to see if it's recording, and I'll be able to download this to my computer. When you're done, you just hit that button again, and then it stops recording. Now, if you want to play this back, you can hit this mode button right here and you see it has a little play symbol right there you just hit the OK button and I was playing it back and you just hit that again to stop it very simple you can also stroll through your pictures and your video with this button right here and go the other direction like that so you can sequence through all your pictures and your video. Now let's say you want to change the camera so you hit this button right here so now it's showing a side image and you can see you can see my studio right there and it's picking up the studio lights just like that and of course I could take a picture and I could record take, take, a, take a picture or I could record going in the mode button and now I'm in recording and you got the timer on the bottom right there now it's showing my studio with that side camera and anytime you want to switch back to the front camera it's okay to do that you can do that back and forth as much as you'd like to very simple to use I'm going to give you an example of why these endoscopes are so nice to have so right now I'm in the recording mode and I have the camera with the forward-facing video. And just an example, this is what I tested on scopes with. This is a very narrow, small aluminum piece, pipe. It's about two feet long. Let's just put the camera in there. And you could see, you can see all the way around. Look at that. You can even see the end where it's going 
to my studio over there. So it's eliminating, eliminating the whole thing and allowing me to essentially look down this pipe. So if this was something where you had something stuck in there and you wanted to view what's going on, this could be in your engine block, this could be your cylinder head. You want to look at the corrosion where the gaskets are on the cylinder head. You can do it with this. So the image is clear and, and it's bright and I can see it perfectly. The camera's probably not picking it up, but I'll show the footage from the actual micro SD card. So the unit does come with a nice little instruction booklet showing you how to do everything. It also comes with this little kit that allows you to put these little add-on attachments to the end of the probe. And there's a powerful magnet on one of them. And it has a hook. And then it has a front silvered mirror. If you want to go 90 degrees, you could screw this on to that lens and go 90 degrees if you don't want to use the side camera on there. So that's included. Okay, a real common use for this is in your sink. Now I've had problems with this side of the sink, which has the food shredding mechanism. So we're going to try to use this just to look and to see how it performs in that scenario. So here we have the display on and we have the cable already and I have it set to video mode. Now I'm going to go down into that opening right there and look at that. Look how clear that is. You could see that's the shredding mechanism right there. You can see any kind of uh, rusting that's going on in the corners there. You can move it across. You can see the center mounting bolt that where the motor is attached to. That's pretty impressive how clear it is. Look at the look at the clarity as I back up. There's the rubber shroud that they use, and you can see that that's clear as well as the background. So that's what that depth of field allows you to do. That's really impressive. Now I'm going to try the other side of the sink where it's a much smaller opening and we're going to see what's going on there. So here I'm approaching it and you can just see how small that opening is right there. Look at the clarity. Now it goes past Boy, look at that. Look at the gunk inside that pipe. I didn't even know that was in there like that. So you can see right here is where it bends. That's the trap. It goes 90 degrees. But you can see the debris in there and the food and everything. Boy, the ones look like I'm looking inside an intestine. <laughs> but look at that. That's impressive. Now let's say we switch the angle. So we now we're in the side. So now I'm getting a side view of that pipe where you can see all the gunk on that pipe right there and the food debris and everything. Look at that. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to transfer the files. I have the included cable hooked into my computer USB and now I have the unit itself and I'm going to power this. I'm not going to power it on. I'm going to take the included USB-C cable and I'm going to plug it into the port on there just like that. Now I'm going to power the unit on. And you see how it gives that little symbol. And then on my computer, it comes up with the file that has a DCIM in there. And then right there is the JPEG images. And here is the movie. And there's a little tiger on the bottom left. They recorded in the basement and it's just that simple. That's how you gain access to your videos. So what's my overall opinion about the DXZ TOZ brand? Their 50 foot dual lens industrial endoscope with a 5 inch IPS screen. I really like this. Um, as I mentioned, the depth of field of this is incredible. The screen is incredibly clear, very simple to use. I was able to transfer the videos easily. The accessory package is nice, very durable, and this is this is built like a tank, 
and it has really high quality video and pictures and sound. So I'm gonna give this product a full five star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're alerted to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented here helps you with all your buying decisions. Thank you for watching.